Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, but today in this video, I'm actually not from that website. I'm from my other website, TelescopeNerd.com. <laughs> I've had that website a long time, maybe five or seven or eight years maybe. Um, where I, that's where I keep most of my telescope stuff. Well, anyway, um, this video is about taking pictures of the sun with a small telescope. And I'm going to actually do it. See that picture that we just saw of the sun? That's a picture that I took here on this day with this camera set up and this telescope. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it, and I'm going to give you some safety steps and things just to be careful of. It's, it's really not that hard, but you will have to buy a couple of small things. Stay tuned, and we'll take a look at how to do it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you art of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing I have to say is that safety is the most important thing, of course. We probably all know that. But um, to take the pictures of the sun with your small telescope, you need some kind of a solar filter that's going to go in the front of the telescope. And I'll show you more about that, and I'll mount it up. But um, you can buy solar film that will protect you from the sun in your telescope, and you make a little ring, make some kind of little setup like I got there. And this is what I did. I made two cardboard rings. That's cereal box cardboard. I put the, I cut the solar film out, mounted it between those rings, and then I wrapped it with a, um, a collar. Really a simple thing. Solar film is reasonably inexpensive, and oftentimes it's two-sided, which means there's a there's a shiny side like this, and there's a dull side. And it's important which way you orient it, the shiny side toward the sun. Make sure there are no pinholes, and make sure there are no scratches in it. You have to be very careful. Like this one's used up. I've used this one a lot. And that's one that I bought as a kit. So let's take a look at, let's get move into the actual taking pictures. That's why you're here, right? Let's say you have one of those DSLR cameras, like this Canon here. It's the, um, uh, the type of camera where the lenses come off and you can put new lenses on, right? It's kind of a fancy photographer's kind of camera, although a lot of people have them. Well, you can buy something called, a pair of things called a T-Ring and T-Ring adapter. So yeah, this is that set. You can buy them separately or you can buy them together as a set. Now the T-Ring, well, let's take a look first at some, what is called the T-Ring. This is the T-Ring, and it is specifically made for camera brands, just like lenses are, right? So if you have a Canon camera, buy a Canon T-Ring. I think it'll cost you 10, 15 bucks. And it just snaps in just like any lens. And then the T-Ring adapter goes in, threads into that. And you're done. Now you can, you know, put this in the eyepiece holder of your telescope and start taking pictures. Really kind of nice. I'll, let's take a look and just to get it 100 percent so there you go you just mount it there's no eyepiece in that telescope i took the eyepiece out mounted the camera in and there you go now these cameras are heavy watch what happens the telescope uh weight has been shifted so you need to adjust your telescope and uh, let's do that in two play two different ways you know first off you need to slide the telescope in its um cradle like this watch so you, until it's balanced I'm going to slide that forward. There you go. So now it no longer drops. See? So it's reasonably balanced there. And then you need to adjust the counterweights also. So that's because, you know, you've put a heavy object on one end of the telescope and it needs to be balanced or else it's not going to work. It's going to be awkward to work with. And it's going to slip on you. But if you've got it balanced, it's much easier to use. So watch. Now I'll adjust the counterweight. Although I've already adjusted the counterweight actually on this one. And that's it. So now let's take a look at, um, you're ready to go. Now let's take a look at the other type of a camera. Let's say you have one of these cameras, much more popular. Just your average camera. You can't interchange the lenses, but there's a thousand different types. You can't put your T-ring and T-ring adapter on that, right? So what do you do? You buy this special adapter. This is a um, universal digital camera adapter, UDCA, I believe. And it comes, I'll, well, I'll show you. It comes with a bunch of different ways you can mount a camera to it, depending on your camera. As long as you have that quarter 20 thread underneath your camera. So you can adjust it every which direction. So it will fit on your telescope, no matter what size the camera is, practically. I guess there'd be some limits to that, but see? 
and then there's um you're gonna make sure you make room for the lens when it extends here so now adjustment on this um, is pretty easy you just uh, there are knobs to slide it up and down right and left to get it centered so you'd mount it on your telescope and we're gonna do that and then you'd adjust it so it's centered correctly and everything's focused right but there you go left to right and of course you can slide that camera forward and back So let's put it on the telescope and take a look. It just now you for this type of uh, adapter, you need an eyepiece in the telescope. And we're going to use a different telescope here, but you just put that assembly with the camera on it onto the eyepiece and clamp it, and that's it. So now you would do your adjusting up and down, left and right, forward and back. And we can't bring it into focus here in the house. It has to be outside. You know that telescope won't focus on something so close. But I will take a look anyway. Let's look through the eyepiece. And at the end of this video, I'm going to take the other telescope out and, and uh, show you how I took a picture of the sun. The picture you saw at the beginning of the video. See, so now we're looking through the camera. See that? We're looking through the telescope. And you, you can see now. Isn't that great? So there's really, you just need a few things. You need to get yourself a solar filter for the outside of your telescope not at the eyepiece but at the aperture the opening and the end and you need to get some kind of adapter to adapt your camera to the telescope depending on what kind of camera you have so let's do it i've got the telescope outside it's pointed almost what's pointed roughly at the sun and we're going with the t-ring and t-ring adapter now we can focus it and look through the camera oh um always 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 keep the lens cap cover on your finder scope or take the finder scope right off your telescope. The sun can melt it. That's important. See, so now we put our solar filter on. It's nice and tight so it won't fall off. That's for safety. You don't want to be looking through it when it falls off. Put a rubber band on it if need be. Now here's a tip when it comes to um, trying to take pictures of the sun or looking at the sun. Is use the shadow to line up the telescope as best you can. See? See how now you can't even barely see the telescope. You can only see the camera. But it's a neat little trick. Use the shadow to line up your telescope as best you can. And I'm going to show you another little trick too. So I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod here, and we're going to take a look at this. But you know, a um, couple of things. You know, dealing with the sun is just dealing with the sun itself can be a little bit of a prohibition for the because you're, you're blinded by the light it can be a little bit tricky but one thing I like to do is put a a piece some kind of a piece of cardboard or something over the front of the telescope like that once I'm um, focused in on the sun that helps it helps with you just shading you and shading the camera and shading everything so you can see what you're doing because the sun is blinding see just don't make yourself a piece of cardboard or foam board. Of course, I used foam board, right? <laughs> to just cover it. So let's see if we can get a look there. It's kind of low to the ground. But I'm going to I'm gonna use my, there we go, right ascension and declination here to bring the sun into the center. There we go. Can you see that? See all the glare on, on the camera that I'm currently holding? See the glare? You can see the camera within the camera. But let's see the sun again. Where is it? There we go. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> center it and hold the camera at the same time. It's kind of getting kind of awkward and focus and all of that. But you see what I'm doing now? So you do that and then you snap pictures or take videos, whatever you want. And if you align the telescope up for the polar axis, which would be good, um, you can easily use one um, adjustment knob to keep the telescope pointed at the sun. It'd be kind of nice. Um, the right ascension, the right ascension. And that's it. I'm taking some pictures. And so that's it. You saw our picture there at the beginning of this video. And I think, let me see, I believe I show you that picture again. Not a lot to it. Let me just reinforce, you know, you need, um, safety is of course the number one thing. You need to put a solar filter over the end of your telescope, the aperture end of your telescope. Never put a solar filter down at the eyepiece because the magnification of the telescope can burn a hole through it quickly. So that's an unsafe condition. 
put it on an aperture and keep it very secure in place so it never falls off. Inspect it for pinholes or scratches and discard it if it does have them. Um, use a piece of cardboard to kind of block you, to shelter you from the sun and give you some shade and there you go, there's the picture, see the sunspots. And for all these various different things like the universal digital camera adapter, the solar filter, uh, the uh, T-ring and T-ring adapter. If you're a little bit confused about those, you want to know where to get them, I have links to those directly to Amazon.com so you can buy them if you want. And I also have it all on my website at TelescopeNerd.com. Um, and you're probably like, hey, I didn't know. I've been watching his videos for a long time, and I know about StormTheCastle.com. I didn't know about the Telescope Nerd. Yeah, I've had that website a long time. It's a lot of fun. Telescopes, uh, you may know, is one of my passions. And, you know, go look around, poke around. If you're thinking about a small telescope or if you have a small telescope, you want to learn more about the various things. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.